Good afternoon, butterflies. This is the Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, please stay for the entire video. If you enjoy this type of content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. How is everyone? I pray that you all are having a blessed and amazing afternoon so far. I pray that everyone is continuing to take care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. I just want you all to know that this channel is really growing and without the works of the Most High working through you guys, this would not be possible because you guys support my channel and you're sharing the videos, you're liking the videos, and I really appreciate that. I also want to let you guys know, I'm trying to put the message out that my Patreon is now free. So I want you guys to go over there and check out the content. I don't have a lot of content at all. I actually only have one upload. But once everyone starts to, gradu to gravitate towards the channel more, I will begin to upload more videos. All right, butterflies, as you can tell by the title of this video, I have a very important message that I have to deliver to you guys. And the title of this video says they're looking for you. And here's why. God says they are looking for you. Many of you who I am speaking to, I want you to take this video as confirmation if it resonates with you. And I also want you to go back and pray to the Most High for further confirmation of this message. Many of you who I'm speaking to has relocated to a new city, state, or country. Or for many of you, you may live in the same city, state, or country, but you just have lo uh, relocated to a more secluded area. Not only did you move, you walked away from some relationships. As a matter of fact, you walked away from pretty much everyone. You pretty much went into your isolation season. But there is one particular person or group of people you that you were very close to. You practically grew up with these people. For many of you, it could be family. And for many of you that I am speaking to, it could be friends. You wonder why God put it in your spirit to leave these people behind, the people that you love and care for so much. The Holy Spirit was moving you without your acknowledgement. You were, you were separating yourself without even acknowledging that you were separating yourself from these people. This person or people were draining you. These people wanted to be you. They practically wanted your life and the reason that things were seeming so challenging and stagnant for you is because when you were around these people you didn't realize that you were around the wrong people these people were actually jealous of you or for many of you this person See, for many of you, it's just one person. And for and for many of you, it's a small group of people. You all hung together in a group. These people or person was secretly sabotaging you behind your back. And right now, someone or some people from your past is looking for you. God says it's not for pure intention. See, when you're around people who secretly envy you, you are in a web of deceit. And these people are dangerous because these people are dis were disguised as people who were supposed to love and care about you. And that's what they were showing you to your face. One of their biggest fears were you breaking ties with them. And this is because their motive was to keep you around so they can continue to secretly sabotage you and block your blessings. God pulled you away from this person or group of people because 
he knew that they were no good for you. And once he pulled you away, this person or this group of people became infuriated. Psalms chapter 26 verses 4 through 5 says, I have not set with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. See, you are really a good person. You are a sheep amongst wolves. And the Most High knew this. He knew that your intentions were pure and theirs were impure. Your spirit did not connect with these people. You were living in the matrix. So your mind was indoctrinated to be around these people because your discernment was blocked. And they were secretly about to lead you into further destruction without your knowledge. So the Most High intervened and he pulled you away. So not only are these people or this person jealous and envious of you but now god has removed you to a safe to a safe place away from these sneaky evil deceitful manipulative people since they can no longer secretly deceive you to your face they now they now do it even more behind your back and the reason why i said even more because these people were already doing these things to you behind your back anyway. A lot of things that you were encountering from a negative aspect was coming from these people. A lot of the things that you went through was plotted and planned by these people. And you went back and confided to them about what happened to you, but deep down they already knew because they had something to do with it. So since they can no longer secretly deceive you to your face, they now do it behind your back, but even more. Spreading rumors, spreading lies about you and your old community, where you used to live. Spreading the, these lies to people, others in your community, people related to you and non-related, trying to turn people against you out of jealousy. They're also mixing truth with the lies. They're taking things from your past and they're mixing it with lies. And things you have secretly shared with them are also being mixed with lies as well. Because remember, you were once close with these people. And you told them some things about yourself, unfortunately, but that's okay. The Most High has delivered you from those things. You are now set free. They can no longer make you feel bad about your past. You've already healed from that. So what they do is they hold on to the old you because they know God has renewed you. And I'm going to say that again. They hold on to the old you because they know that God has renewed you. Proverbs chapter 26, verses 24 through 26 says, He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shewed before the whole congregation. These people will be exposed. These people that they're spreading these lies and rumors too. A lot of these people, they know that you're a stand-up person. A lot of these people are jealous of you as well and envious. So they want to believe these lies about you. But they too will be proved wrong. The Most High will reveal to them that all of these things that are being said about you is not true. So the people who once pretended to love you, they will be exposed. And if you guys have any certain type of spiritual gifts, like you're a seer, the Most High has already shown you how these people were. When he removed you, he showed you. He didn't want to show you until he removed you. He showed you a couple of things, but you probably choose to ignore them. See, they knew your potential. That's why they were trying to hold you back. So now they're spreading lies and rumors, but now these, 
you know, actions of them spreading lies and rumors are not satisfying their demons. And see, this is, you know, one of the most important parts of the messages that I want to explain to you, okay? These people or person has plotted to start a confrontation with you because they are no longer satisfied. They're already upset because you're gone and they can't physically harm you or distract you in any kind of way. The witchcraft is no longer working as well. So they figured the only thing that they could do is throw dirt on your name. So once you ever did return back to your old community, because you do have a lot of family there, that's where you, this place where you left is where you got a lot of you guys were born and raised. For some of you not, but for many of you it is. So, you know, in hopes of your return, they already want to have something cooked up for when you come back. But they don't know when you're coming back. They don't know if you will ever come back. So what they're doing is these people have plotted to start a confrontation. They've linked up with your ops, people that you never trusted to begin with. And if you did, God exposed them. He had already shown you how messed up these people were. They were not moving right. They know how you feel about these people. But here they are hanging with the ops, plotting evil towards you. These were the people who were once vowing to have your back against the ops. And now they're hanging with your ops, plotting against you. Although now your circle is small, there is someone in your circle who these people would try and locate you through your whereabouts or your phone number for some of you they may have done this already for many of you this is confirmation someone has already reached out someone that you're close to has already reached out to you and said hey so and so is trying to contact you or they're trying to contact you for someone else these people are not giving information really as to who it is that's trying to contact you they just want your information and the reason why they don't want to really reveal too much because they know then that you will know that these are people that you no longer want to associate yourself with since they were your family or people that you have been close to since day one some of you may feel that this is a sign from God for you to reunite. A lot of you guys have been separated. You've been in isolation for a while. You're beginning to think about some things. You know, you're like, you're starting to deny your gifts. The Most High has shown you some things and he's revealed some things. A couple of people has even told on themselves in a small way. And you're like, no, nah, they didn't say that. They didn't do that. You know, I didn't have that dream, God. You didn't just show me that. I didn't just hear you say that. And you begin to miss these people because you're like, maybe I'm overreacting. You know, you're beginning to believe the gaslighting tactics that you're hearing from other family members that, oh, something's wrong with him or her. She's cut or he's cut everybody off when you know that the Holy Spirit removed you for a reason. And many of you have even prayed about this, you know, like, God, if I'm overreacting, you know, if it's really meant for me to go back to my old community and reunite with these people, you know, God, please let me know because am I overreacting? This is confirmation to not reunite with these people. Don't share your number or location. Don't tell anyone that God has shown you and revealed to you that is not for you, anything else personal about you. Tell anyone that is close to you that is, is within your circle that they, you know, that these people may be trying to contact to get to you. Tell them not to share your phone number and location as well because it's all a part of a setup. God knew these people didn't like you or had your best interest at heart to begin with. You just wasn't aware of it. And to be honest, we all see signs sometimes that we choose to ignore. 
However, don't ignore this sign. Take this sign, take this message as a sign and confirmation that what the Most High showed you was very much accurate. And this is confirmation. What you thought you saw from God or heard from God, you really did see and hear. That dream, it was real. When he showed you those people that you were once connected with, betraying you, it was real. That voice that you heard and he showed you that person's face or those people and he said what he said. He may even show you a snake after he showed you these people's faces. Take that as a sign. It's for your protection. Take heed to God's words and instructions so you can further gain wisdom, knowledge, discernment, and ways to protect yourself. Guys, I want you to make sure that you read Psalms 21 and 23 every day. Also 27. I'm going to post the link to in the description to the prayers that I say every night for protection in order to protect me physically and also in the spiritual realm as well. Like I said, if this message resonates with you, please go to the Most High and pray for further confirmation. I love you guys so much. Stay prayed up. Continue to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. And until the next video, peace and blessings. Mwah.